a teenage imprisonment for a shockingly brutal crime, and plans to become a crusade evangelist? The freckle-faced killer has had quite the journey following his release from prison. The last time Doreen Roby saw her four-year-old son Derek, he was walking down the street to the summer camp held in the local park. Doreen normally supervised the short walk, but a fussy baby had kept her hands full that morning. After a quick kiss goodbye, Derek set off to camp. When storms began to roll into their upstate New York community hours later, Doreen rushed to the park to usher Derek to safety, but he never made it, per CBS News. Later that day, Derek's battered remains were found in the woods near the park, and every parent's worst nightmare became Doreen's reality. Her young son had been strangled and beaten with rocks, and killed just minutes after she saw him for the last time. Doreen wasn't the only mother who was about to face a horrific reality either. The assumption was that Derek Roby was murdered by an adult who had wandered in from out of town. However, after news of the murder appeared on TV that evening, Marlene Heskel was allegedly asked by her friend's 13-year-old son, Eric Smith, what would happen if Derek had been killed by another child, per CBS News. Heskel realized that Eric might know something about the murder, so she told his mother about the conversation, and the latter decided to take him to the police station. Though Eric initially denied seeing Derek, he eventually confessed to luring the child away from the park and killing him. Eric Smith was indicted by a grand jury and put on trial as an adult, per CBS News. In 1994, he was found guilty of murder and sent to serve a sentence of nine years to life. Smith spent time in a facility for juvenile offenders until he turned 21, when he was transferred to an adult prison. His sentence made him eligible for parole beginning in 2002. He was denied release and had his parole denied an additional 10 times. But in October 2021, Smith was able to convince the parole board that he wasn't a threat to anyone any longer. Smith outlined his plans for his life if he was granted parole. He expressed his desire to get a college education and find work in the carpentry or electrical trades. The transcript of the hearing also revealed that Smith had found love behind bars and was engaged to be married to a woman that he had been corresponding with. The woman was studying law and had initially written to Smith to ask him about the juvenile justice system. I want to, you know, get married, raise a family. The parole board granted Smith his freedom. They were apparently impressed by Smith's clean record with prison officials as well as his post-release plans. This release didn't happen overnight, however, and Smith was held in prison until February 1, 2022, per CBS News. The authorities needed time to arrange proper housing for the new parolee so that Smith was given important tools for his fresh start. He was reportedly sent to live in Queens, New York. While he was still in prison, Smith was reportedly working towards a college degree in crusade evangelism and was hoping to become involved in a ministry after his release, per Democrat and Chronicle. He also allegedly hoped to become an asset to society. Smith will still be under the watchful eye of the law, even though he no longer lives in prison, and as a condition of his parole, he will be monitored for the remainder of his life. It's also worth noting that some feel as though Smith hasn't paid his dues. 48 Hours reported that Derek's parents fought against Smith's release every time he came up for parole. Though they were not allowed to attend the closed-door hearings, they wrote letters and sent in videos expressing their desire for the state to keep Smith locked away for the rest of his life. When Doreen Roby heard the news of his release, she told 48 Hours, I understand why, after so many years, they decided to give him a chance. Doreen went on to state that in some ways, this would be a relief for the grieving couple, as they would no longer have to attend parole hearings to fight against Smith's release. Now the true healing can begin.